What's up YouTube, it's jcrutch86, back with another Destiny video, and in today's video I'm doing the Daily Heroic Story Mission once again. This one's called The Enemy of My Enemy, and this one is another simple one. You're fighting an Echo at the end. Spoiler alert. Anyway, so this first part you just run up to the ship here, the crashed Cabal ship in the whole breach. And you'll want to weaken the Cabal, as it says right there. All you're doing with that is just killing some Cabal. Um, not entirely sure exactly how much that is, but you'll see it go up by percentage, just like you're doing one of those uh, kill enemies patrol missions when you're on patrol. You see, I just went up to 33% there. You just kill a bunch of them, and you'll start. You'll see the door behind you start to open up. Not too difficult. That's why I keep looking back at the doors, because it's going to be opening once I get that to 100%. Now that I heard that, I'm going to turn around here, get that guy off my back. See, now it's opening. I run straight in. There's a ton of Cabal in here, so I immediately hide so I don't die. I'll let my health go back up and run through the opening door. Now you just follow this hallway until you get to the What's next? next big room area. And you'll start to kill the stuff in this area. You'll get some voiceover to come in telling you to go check out some console thing. That's when you'll move on. Another thing I try to keep in mind is I work through the room rather than going past anything to make sure nothing gets behind me. There's the voiceover that I was talking about, so now I just go right past all this stuff. I end up having to fight it later, but that is okay because we don't need it. Um, so you go in here. I clear this room just because I don't want to be shot at while I do the scan. Scan this console. It took me a minute to scan it for whatever reason. Now you see that stuff comes in after me. So I go ahead and clean it up here now as well. Alright. Then I suggest you get there first. All right, now that you cleared that, I kind of take the wrong way. I go out here, but you'll see the waypoint shows up behind me. I think I was what I was doing here was just checking the room, make sure nothing else was in there. And, but you go through this door, follow this hallway. It'll take you to the other side of the ship, back into the Dreadnought. And that's the final encounter area. So now that we're in the mausoleum, you just want to try to take out any of the Taken. 
I don't shoot for any cabal yet because they're still flanked with their commander and he's immune to your shots. Like, literally, you could shoot all of your ammo at him and not take any of his health bar away. So I just focus entirely on the Taken in this area. Forget what they say about the enemy of my enemy. Something stands between you and the rupture, put it down. As you can see up there in the top of my frame there, that's where the commander is. You can see I don't even bother focusing on him because I already know from tests that you will not get any damage on him. He starts shooting at me. Again, just avoid him. But Oryx just took him, so you can just finish off the stuff that's in the room, and that will start the next encounter here. Now that that Centurion's gone, the big commander dude, you can also take out any Cabal that you see, which is why you see uh, now I start shooting at some Cabal. There's not very many left. The Taken have already taken out a bunch, so it's not a big deal. Uh, seeing that the room's empty, I start to go towards the uh, portal, but that's not where you need to go first. You see the rupture. Spoke of statues the hive used to now you need to find these statues. The first one is on a, a platform to my right. You see the waypoint there. Just head there immediately, and you can take that one. And then you got to find two more across the room. Um, typically, they're on the hill leading down to this area, which is why I start to head back. You see I immediately spot another one, but it does take me a moment just to find the third one. The statues control where the rupture leads. They could deliver us to Oryx. I feel like an idiot because I looked right past it up there. Looking back on this gameplay. Looking all around, I see the other one again that I got. There's nothing in here, nothing in there. And I pull out the ghost because sometimes that'll get set up a waypoint, but it's not there. And then I finally see it. There. Boom. So you get the statues scanned and then you can go back up to the portal. I go up here because it gives me a good jumping point to get over there. And once this rupture op opens, Thrall start pouring out, and so you just want to take out a bunch of those as quickly as possible. That's the way you get to the next part, which is the Shadow of Oryx, which is your final boss for this mission. Standing on these middle railing ways makes them kind of fall back. They'll fall back to that front part and then you can just jump right off again and they'll start to file in in a line to come after you. It does make it a little bit more simple to, to uh, maintain the numbers. 
So you see I took out as much as I could there, and then I'm going to jump off to the left, and they start to file in towards me. See how this big group comes, and they're all pretty much a straight line. That allows you to kill them off quicker. Forget about the throw. Get through that and see, because I did that, it allowed me to kill enough, and I move on to this next part where I try to enter the rupture before we know that that's not possible for anyone not and not being an ascendant hive so the thralls will despawn and you move away from there because that's where your echo of oryx is going to spawn there he is and you just take that guy out i usually start here and pump as much lead into him as i can before he pushes me there and then i move to this back corner keep just shooting him up. He's gonna hide. You see, he's out of your view. I can't see him either, but I know approximately where he's gonna be. He hangs around that middle area until you come back here. Then he's gonna try to, to pin you. I start shooting Thrall, and he's on my left over here after a bit. you'll start see him shooting me on the right and he's right on top of me so I jumped that way because I thought he was behind me so I just back off a little bit turn around and start shooting some more uh, I focus on the echo because nothing else really here is going to kill me terribly he starts to move so I move back to this corner this is where my my home is I want to stay here and that's the end right there I want to thank you for watching when you watch this. Um, always hit that subscribe button if you like the content that I put out. If you want to see me stream, I'm on twitch.tv slash jcrutch86. And I'm also on Twitter, uh, jcrutch86gaming. Uh, thanks for the watch. Thanks for the view. And I will see you next time.